Hey folks, welcome to an open source live quick tip. Uh, my name's Chris, and I'm going to show you a little thing for your CI on GitHub Actions. So if any of you out there have used Travis a long time ago when they had open source uh, plan that a lot of people would use, you might remember that you could mark a particular job as being allowed to fail. So it could show up as, you know, it didn't pass, but it wouldn't stop the build. It wouldn't stop you from merging things. Unfortunately, GitHub does not allow you to do that. There's this long running request. It says closed here, but it's just been moved to a different platform for feature requests. Um, that's not great. Some of the advice in here that they say is you can just have things marked as allowed to fail. Uh, and if you do that, you know, CI still passes, it's allowed to fail, but you don't know that these ones down here have failed in some way. So you don't know that you need to fix it. And in our case with Ember, you have six weeks to fix it until Ember beta becomes Ember release. So we went and we built something called continue on error comment action, which is a nice little GitHub action that you add to your workflow CI. You can add it after a job that has continue on error set to true. And what that does is once it notices that that errored, it adds a little comment to your pull request. So in this case, we can see that Ember Canary beta and release with no deprecations have all failed. Um, that hasn't prevented me from actually merging this because if you look at them down here, Canary and beta, they're all, they look like they're going to pass, which is nice. Um, and yeah, you can go and try this out if you want to. You can go to main matter or github.com slash main matter continue on error comment and you can use this in your github actions uh, you can reach out to me on relate at mastodon.social if you have any questions or you can watch me live stream at twitch.tv slash relate thanks for watching